everybody this is CR and we've got another video uh, I am headed to drill a mailbox lock and replace it um, I've got a helmet view going on here to thought I'd try it out so it looks pretty funky but uh, the task at hand is going to uh, I don't have a leashy tool and usually mailbox locks are a pin lock and they're normally a little difficult to, to pick and so basically I just fast drill them pull them out and replace them and so that's what I'm doing I'm pulling up here to a uh, to an apartment complex and uh, what happened was is they've got uh, of the mailbox locks they've got one of them that uh, actually has a, a little slot for uh, depositing or you know you could put mail in there and, and what happened was the customer put their their rent deposit in there and uh, the landlord said hey we need to get this thing picked or drilled and we need to get that check out and we need a new lock in there that we have a key for I was like ah we can handle that so uh, here we are uh, okay and again I'm not real fond with this helmet view but I thought I'd do it for this one so there it is and uh, I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna drill it out uh, and what the objective is is to drill right at the shear line and normally mailbox locks are a four pin lock so I'm going to get in there and uh, the idea is to go far enough to get all four pins and then spin that cylinder unlock it pull it out and replace it but you know what it doesn't go as smooth as I like uh, I'm drilling slowly uh, not wanting to get too carried away and uh, what happens is is that you know ideally when you get the shear line good now there's a there's somebody at the apartment there that were just kind of saying hey what's going on I'm like hey I'm a locksmith drilling drilling a lock you know what I mean oh okay so anyway uh, I'm working at it and uh, it's not going it's not going well I'm going slow checking it out you know you know, like I said, it's always better to go a little slower and uh, take a look at it. Putting my screwdriver in there, trying to twist it, no go. It's just, it's just not, it's not working. I'm thinking, well, must be another pin. So I'm gonna grab the drill in there a little bit more and uh, uh, you know, in and out, in and out, and uh, this lock just is like a lot of times locks will fight you to death you know what I mean so I'm, I'm drilling drilling I'm thinking well shoot I gotta be through it right and uh, you know trying to turn it not wanting to go left or right I was like god you gotta be kidding me right so at this point I'm like you know what so trying one more time trying to get a smaller blade in there to try to get that thing twisted and it won't go so I'm like okay and look at that all the way through the lock now that's not what you want to do uh, but it's what I did and not turning not still turn I mean I've got a great hole and uh, it's not working so like you know, I'm pounding out, trying to get a few of the pins out, and uh, finally I said, you know what, uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm trying to turn it, I'm looking, looks clear, but it's not turning, and so it kind of scarred up uh, the, the, where I drilled, so right now, I'm just putting the drill right in the slot where the key goes, and I'm like, ah, let's just get western with it, so, uh, finesse didn't work this time, and, uh, you know, like I said, uh, it, it happens, you know, the objective is I'm going to replace the lock, and so, you know, it's going to get destroyed, so, 
no sense wasting a bunch of time yeah look at there <laughs> in in doing the job uh, I don't know if that uh, mailbox was locked or not but it's open now anyway so I've now put a second hole right down where the key goes and uh, I'm just you know what I call walloping the whole dang thing and uh, get in there and just trying to twist and turn and now we got such a big hole that the screwdriver is is too small to try to turn anything and uh, kind of got a mess going on you know so uh, what am I gonna do and yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drill everything out you know what I mean and so it, it gets, it's, it's one of those that just gets ugly and it happens at times sometimes things just don't go as smooth as you want and uh, this is a perfect example but I know that as long as I stay within the lock that I'm replacing it no harm uh, you know what I mean I'm not going to damage anything other than the lock and I will be replacing it so you know there we go we're so the lesson that you need to know is that in locksmith work sometimes things don't always go as planned and that's just the way it is uh, like I said I had to end up you know just demolishing this lock and, uh, and like I said right now I'm going and putting it, trying to put it back in and uh, here's another thing is that uh, in mailbox locks you have a handed one uh, they turn one way and so uh, I'm trying to figure this out and uh, you know I guess you would say you've got a left and a right handed one and basically I'm trying to figure this out and I'm like hey you know what this is not the right handed so I had to switch it and turn it upside down uh, to make it work because I didn't have the other handy um, this will be fine for the customer but uh, I'm gonna go and order some more locks and make sure you have both handy so uh, you can take care of it so there you go I appreciate uh, you guys watching this one and uh, thanks for uh, sticking with me and hopefully I'll start improving and starting to make uh, more and better locksmith videos. So, okay, this is CR, and again, thank you for watching, and you guys uh, take care. Bye bye.